So one morning for breakfast, I ran out of gluten-free oatmeal because I really eat a gluten-free diet because I have gut issues. So I decided to replace that oatmeal with some quinoa. And then I added a lot of things to this oatmeal. I added like fresh fruits, like fresh blueberry, apples, and bananas. I added some seeds like pumpkin seeds. And I also added some nuts like pine nuts or walnuts or like uh, hazelnuts. And I used non-dairy milk to make it really delicious. So today I wanna share with you my quinoa oatmeal recipe that I found really warms my heart and soul. So the first thing we wanna do is cook the quinoa. So now when you're making quinoa oatmeal, you wanna make the ratio of quinoa to water one to three. So for every one cup of quinoa, you're gonna add three cups of water. Whereas if you make quinoa on normally, it's usually one cup of quinoa to two cups of water. But when you're making oatmeal, you want the quinoa to be more moist. So you're gonna use three cups of water for every one cup of quinoa. Here I have half a cup of quinoa, which will serve about four people. So for half a cup of quinoa, I have one and a half cups of water that's already boiling. So this is one and a half cups of water that I'm going to add half a cup of quinoa. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, you know, maybe half a teaspoon of salt, just to give it some flavor. And then I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. And I'm gonna simmer cook this for about 15 minutes. If it's one cup of quinoa, then I would simmer cook it for 20 minutes. One cup of quinoa or more would be 20 minutes, but this is half a cup of quinoa, so I'm gonna reduce the cooking time to 15 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes and I'm sure the quinoa is cooked. Yes, it is nicely cooked. And I'm just gonna fluff it up a little bit. And now, to make it like a real oatmeal, I'm going to add some non-dairy milk. This is macadamia milk. You can use almond milk. You could use hazelnut milk. You can even use soy milk. Use whatever, or even regular milk. Use whatever milk you like. So I'm gonna add this macadamia milk because I eat a non-dairy diet. And I'm gonna raise the flame to high. And now I'm gonna add some fresh blueberries and fresh apples. And I'm gonna allow the fruit to cook a little bit in the quinoa with the milk. And you're gonna start to see the milk turn a little blue once the blueberry starts to boil. So I'm just gonna place my lid again and let it come to a boil, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. So the quinoa has been simmer cooking for a few minutes. And as you can see, it started to turn a little blue from the blueberry, and this is perfect. So now I'm gonna turn off my flame and add the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna add some fresh sliced bananas. I'm gonna add some pumpkin seeds. You could add like chia seeds if you like, or maybe you like uh, flax seeds. Add some kind of seeds. It gives it a really nice crunchy texture. And I wanna add some kind of nut for protein. These are pine nuts, but you could use walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds. Pine nuts seem to work really well with this recipe. And I wanna add some dry fruit, like a dried cranberry or raisins or dry prunes. It really adds a nice texture to the oatmeal. So I would recommend adding some dry fruits. And if you like, you could add some maple syrup but I think I'm gonna leave it out because there's enough sweetener in here between 
the dry fruit, the banana, the blueberry, and the apple. I think we have enough sweet ingredients in here. And I think this looks really, really delicious. You know, all of the ingredients really come together. The quinoa with the fresh fruit, the blueberry, the apple, the banana, and then I could taste the crunchiness of the pumpkin seeds and the pine nuts. I'm telling you, this is so delicious. I actually like this oatmeal, the quinoa oatmeal, better than the regular oatmeal. So try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please make sure to share it and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to visit all of my spiritual and holistic living tips, just go to my website at yinandyangliving.com. Thank you. Kumab